shop and I got a little tech tip for you tonight. Uh, this is something that you don't often see talked about, but it's a very important thing you do not want to uh, not know about and miss out on on your small block Chevy rebuild. I got the L31 block here for our budget L31 build, and I and I want to show you a really important plug that if you miss, you might not not, not even know, but it could cost you an engine. So this is your rear cap and your oil pump bolts on here. The oil pressure is pumped through from your pan through this passage into the block right here and it goes into this passage. Well, if we look in here, let me shine a light. There's actually a gallery plug in, in, uh, in that passage up there. And what that gallery plug does is it actually diverts the oil instead of going straight up into the block to the, to the, um, cam tunnel here. It actually diverts the oil over to this hole here. So the oil goes through the oil filter. So without that plug, you are getting unfiltered oil into the engine. There's, there's a couple of reasons why this plug is scary. Number one, oftentimes it's not removed. So if you have a dirty block that's had some work done to it, you get debris caught in this passage and it, you can't really get it out, even hot washing it, hot tanking it, whatever, it doesn't get it out. So you have to have that plug removed and then uh, a brush or whatever and uh, jet washing can make sure you get all the debris out. Number two, what makes it scary is if that plug is removed and not put back in. And what's really scary about that is oftentimes there's no, e there's not even a difference in oil pressure. Some guys claim you'll have less oil pressure. It's not really the case because what happens is it'll pressurize the oil filter housing, uh, and just shoot, just take the p path of least resistance. And why you can get a little bit of a drop in oil pressure is there's actually air caught in the filter because it's not being pushed out. So you get kind of like a, a little bit, air is compressible on like oil. So you get a little bit of a drop in pressure, but maybe nothing that you'll even notice. So that's the scary part is that this, uh, plug missing, which is just this little, I'll show you, just a little plug like that. I'll knock the one out here for you guys. But without that plug missing, you're basically, you basically have no oil filter on your engine. Steel rod through the oil pressure hole. There it is. That right there. You can see it's a direct hole right up without going anywhere near that oil filter. So the oil just takes the path of least resistance without circulating through the oil filter and goes right up into your engine. So, so without that little guy right there, you essentially have no oil filter. So look out for that. If you can see right through this passage beside your main cap, then you know that plug's not in there. And if you're getting your block cleaned, make sure that plug is removed before the block is cleaned to, to prevent any debris. Just don't forget to put it back in or uh, you'll definitely regret that and your engine will not be happy with you and your bearings will take a ton of unfiltered oil. So there you go, guys.